if the Henry Ford doctors as a team um, hadn't followed through with what they've learned, I'm a firm believer I wouldn't have been here. And I'm a firm believer that I was dead. So Mr. Bennett actually presented with some atypical symptoms. He has risk factors including diabetes. Now the strength of his heart was okay, but a stress test that was done to confirm whether or not he truly had blockage uh, was considered a high risk stress test. It showed that several areas of his heart were affected. When we brought him initially for diagnostic cardiac catheterization, we went through his wrist artery and we noted that there were blockages in all three of his major heart arteries. Two weeks ago, I went into my family doctor thinking I had bronchitis. Um, they sent me down here because I was also coughing up, coughing up some blood. In the emergency room, ran a bunch of tests. Subsequent checks and everything else, I found out I had seven blocked arteries in my heart. In such patients, especially when they're diabetic, we sometimes suggest or sometimes recommend that patients seek bypass surgery or surgical revascularization. Uh, and because he was stable at the time, we brought him off the table and had him and his wife meet with the surgeons uh, for a second opinion. Uh, he and the surgeons talked and he was offered both a complete surgical procedure as well as a part surgical, part angioplasty and stent procedure. Um, I'm gonna have two more stents added. We, the first procedure we had four stents. So I, I know going in it's, it's gonna be fairly easy and fairly quick and non-invasive and probably won't hurt that much, but yeah, I'm nervous because I'm gonna go work on my heart. The advantage with the wrist artery is that it's very superficial, which means that it resides very close to the skin. Uh, there is no major vein or nerve, so that there's, we eliminate the risk of injury to any vein or nerve in that area. It is virtually impossible to have a major bleeding event uh, because it's so superficial. We can actually send the patients home the same day, so that instead of recovering in our hospital bed, they're actually recovering in their own bed at home. And what we're going to do is basically go into the artery like this and remove the needle out and then we're going to get blood flow and through which we're going to put a wire and over the wire we'll place a sheath. This is the wire that we're going to use. So we'll get access into the artery. We're able to thread the wire like this remove the wire, this is still in the artery, and then this just slides over, over the wire. And that'll slide right into the artery, and that's the one-way tube that we have that we can then put all our other equipment through. This is what's called our guiding catheter. This is the small tube that will go through the sheath that we have that will allow us to uh, pass our wires and equipment through. We got a little bit of blood flow there, you can go through back wall or the posterior wall of the artery. Remove the back, I remove the needle, Just slowly pulling back, waiting for a nice spurt to come out. I thread the wire in, advance a little bit. It's going smoothly. That's our wire, it's halfway up the arm. Okay. And so what we'll do is we'll inflate the balloon just like we did with the prior angioplasty but because the stent's on the balloon, it's gonna expand the stent. When we deflate the balloon, the stent stays expanded against the artery wall, and the balloon can actually come out. And the stent is made of metal with some coated medication and remains in there for life. So we're not pushing the hydrophilic wire into a small branch. A little bit of pressure here, sir, okay? A 1.0 would be okay. Yeah, 1.0 I think should be fine. So how's he doing? He's doing very well. His vital signs are stable. Hemoglobin's good. Great. All right. Well, let me take a quick look, listen, and inspection.
Sounds fine. You feel good? You feel ready to go home? But no signs of bleeding. <laughs> we'll take this band off and uh, we'll get you going. All right, thank you. Yep, you're welcome. Thank you. I think Mr. Bennett's prognosis is actually very good. Uh, with such patients, such select patients, we're actually able, um, because they're so stable, and we've eliminated the risk of bleeding, and we've eliminated the risk of a major complication with his heart, uh, we've been able to take a group of patients like him and actually send them home on the same day. Within about four hours, I was walking around. Uh, I, ju I just wanted to get mobile. I think it was six o'clock I was coming home, had a dinner with my family. Um, I went to bed about nine o'clock, and the next morning, I was up 6.30 taking my kids to school kind of amazing recovery. My wife, she, when she first started nursing, is a, she started in cardiac unit, and she's amazed, as I am, how quickly your recovery is via a radial procedure. No complications, no infections, and how quickly a person can come home.